is. Probably should put the brakes on the wheelchair. Is that my mug or yours? I mean, I'm six feet tall. Eric here. I'm out uh, participating in Variety Casey's wheelchair challenge. My friend Braden uh, a few weeks ago challenged first my colleague Heather Hall uh, on the city council to spend three hours in a, in a wheelchair supplied by Variety KC to just get a sense for uh, what, what life is like. Uh, just get a little little snippet of what the challenges and that, that people may face uh, with a wheelchair. This is not a steep hill. Yeah. It's like, it's a tough. You know, I automatically already really look for things blocking sidewalks and curb ramps that aren't designed properly. And so I've already sort of programmed to do that. All right, what was that like? That was a lot of work. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a, uh, I assume it's an ADA compliant grade, but boy, uh, that took some effort. And there were several times that the wheelchair wanted to actually tip backwards, so I can imagine that on a really steep hill, you could end up on your back, which would be, I think, pretty awful. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of work, and uh, you, know, you got to think about grades how steep they are when we can avoid when we can avoid making them you know three percent we should a lot of places where we have to cross the street multiple times uh, and, and you know downtown really has the widest sidewalks the least encumbered sidewalks and so this would be a lot different going out to the neighborhoods but overall it was I'd say a relatively pleasant experience, um, it, but it was uh, not without its challenges. So I'm spending my day, I've already spent about an hour out and about downtown. Uh, we rode the streetcar, which is something I typically do anyway. I ride transit a lot, I walk places all the time. So this is, I'm really just kind of doing my normal thing. and. You know, you really get a sense for how inconvenient we make our sidewalks and uh, access across downtown uh, when you're when you use a wheelchair. Uh, so, in some cases, we've had to cross the street multiple times to avoid uh, sidewalk closures, which are not really supposed to be happening uh, based on an ordinance that I wrote a while back. Um, and so, it's it's. You know, these are things that I, I already knew, uh, but experiencing it firsthand is much different. Uh, the physical feeling of, of pushing myself up a steep hill, which we have many of here in Kansas City, uh, is, adds, a, adds a new level uh, to this. And I won't pretend that this is gonna provide me any sort of real understanding, uh, but it's, I hope that it will give me some insight into some of the challenges that, that as a city council person, I'm ultimately responsible for. Off the streetcar down here at River Market at 3rd and Grand. Um, and it's great because the streetcar, the crosswalk, just uh, takes you right across and it's a pretty narrow, short crossing distance. Um, but if, if I were to go, if I needed to go to the north side of 3rd, uh, the sidewalk's actually blocked off, so the crosswalk is completely ineffective. Or if I want to go farther west on 3rd, I run into this. So there's no way for me to get through because this is just a, a basically a parking lot that should be a sidewalk. Um, and so there's a significant amount of zigzagging just to get from the streetcar stop to you know, anywhere anywhere west of here. So this is what they call cross slope. It's like, you know, you're leaning 
Mm -hmm. The cross slope is not supposed to exceed uh, 1%. I think is what it is. It's some like, but I think it's roughly like, so it needs to stick almost level. Yeah. Um, it may be less than 1%. Uh, this would not be ADA, so like, we're not technically in compliance. It's dramatic. I mean, it's a hilly city, but. Any like any movement across the street, you're often having to add extra distance, which in some cases, in many cases, it means up a you know two percent, three percent grade. So the other thing that I've noticed is that like these brick pavers are really bumpy, and they had a lot of extra resistance, uh, rolling resistance to the wheels. Um, but the other thing is that all these sidewalks, the cross slope is so great that like you spend so much of your energy just keeping the wheelchair from like veering off in one direction. Um, so cross slope is really important. <laughs> uh, it makes makes the, the ride pretty difficult if there's much of a cross slope. All right, let's head to the streetcar stop. I can't actually get to that streetcar stop down there because here this sidewalk is just treated as a parking lot, and over. And if, but if I cross to that side, the sidewalk's closed for construction, so I can't get there from here. Uh, this is the kind of it's a bit of a Yogi Bear Yogi Bear statement there. I can't get there from here, um, so you really can't. Uh, it's not an accessible path from here to that streetcar stop without getting into the street. <laughs> yeah, and plus I just came up a massive hill. So, yeah, no way I'm gonna pretend that this is, gives me any real, uh, really sense of, of, of what navigating our city with, uh, with a disability would be like. But, you know, this was a really rewarding experience and it definitely um, gives me a whole new perspective on how we build our streets and sidewalks and how we make our transit accessible, how we make our parks accessible. So um, something that, that is near and dear to my heart and uh, this only reinforces that. This wheelchair really gives a much more physical experience of that, like what is it really like? And it's in a way that, you know, pushing my kids in strollers, it's, it's not like that. All right, well, I just finished up a little over three hours uh, out and about downtown using uh, this wheelchair provided by Variety KC to take part in the wheelchair challenge and uh, learned a few things that Kansas City definitely is a hilly city and uh, in a lot of ways we should be doing much better in accommodating folks given that topography challenge. Thanks, I really appreciate Variety KC for, for bringing this opportunity to us, and I uh, can't wait to see who I challenge next. Oh. The chair is to me. I cheated. <laughs> We have no coffee pots. Well, you just used a paper towel to clean your coffee cup instead of the brush, so I wasn't going to say anything, but... <laughs> <laughs>